All right, we're here in round one. I have the choice, I'll play first. And yeah, it's a good hand. Early stall, some lands, trick, other stuff. A couple finishers, I guess, is a little bit awkward, but opening with a sanctifier, can't really complain about that. I mean, this will at least buy us, like, you know, a chump block plus three life. That's pretty good. Uh, potentially more with the Zealous Strike. Green player. Weird. Escort. All right. Don't care about that guy so much. All right. Slowly building towards those six drops. Um... Yeah, I'll offer the trade. Actually, no, I... Well, if I leave it back, that means I want to trade. Right? I think I just attack. I'll, I will trade it off. But I want to stall. No, I guess I'd rather just take one. I don't want to trade it. I'd rather use the Sanctifier to block, like, a 3-drop or something. He can attack in. And then if he doesn't drop a creature, I'll attack back. No, I guess he wants to trade, too. Alright, well, I I think... I'd rather stall. I have a lot of good late game, so... Let's just sit back. Alright. Pretty glad he's not attacking since I'd be taking it. Alright. Another trick, I guess. I mean, we're getting pretty close to our big dudes. And since our opponent missed his land drop, even after drawing the abundant growth, that's a good sign for us. Even though he's got a mitt full of cards, we're going to be able to hopefully slam our six drops uh, relatively soon here. Guess we're going to need that double green to make that happen, but we've got seven remaining in the deck, so there's a pretty good chance we get one soon. Alright, so he's green-blue, but he's playing second guess and diagraph escort. That's not so good. Uh, no, I still don't want to attack. Uh, do I play the Pathbreaker Worm or the Vorse Claw? Yeah, I think we got to play the Vorse Claw first. Um, I mean, that seems pretty obvious just because then we get to play the Pathbreaker Worm and give it Trample and attack for seven. So I'm pretty sure that's better. Alright, so there's a chance this guy's got the um, Stern Mentor, which is real good with that Alchemist. So he did soul bond him. Alright. So big dude comes down. So, let's see if he's got, like, a peel from reality. Or, I mean, he's, he's pretty much got to deal with this Vorse Claw. Giving this thing trample next turn is going to be real good. Stolen goods. Alright, what does he get? Gets my Geist Trapper? It's pretty good.
Oh wait, I don't get it. Oh, I see. Until end of turn, you can cast it without paying its mana cost. I thought I just played it. All right. It's actually better because he didn't play it. This guy's having some real difficulties. I guess this is like the main advantage of playing in Swiss. So, yeah, he definitely shouldn't have soul bonded these guys unless there was some purpose to it, because now he doesn't have his peddler soul bonded. And he just conceded, alright. So, I guess I didn't see much that, much of anything that would justify bringing in cards. I mean, he showed abundant growth, but Curse Break does not seem very good against that, since they already get to net a card out of it and you would essentially be using a card to take away some mana fixing for him. Not very valuable in my mind. Although, I mean, he didn't see an island that game, so... I guess it would have been relevant? I don't know. He didn't... I mean, the one blue card he had was that, like, second guess. No, he had stolen goods, too, but... Neither of those cards are very good. Um, I don't think our opponent has a very strong deck. Um, I think I'm just going to leave it how it is. I, I was pretty satisfied with how that game went. It's the old six land righteous blow. Um, and I'm on the draw. You know, this might actually keep this, just because guarantees I'm being able to land to my late game. He didn't have a super fast start. I've got removal. I'm on the draw. I'm going to keep it. I'm up a game. I, I think it's just it's going to be okay. I mean, I could draw a land for the rest of the game and lose, which, you know, happens fairly frequently, but I don't really see the need to mull this with the Righteous Blow. I mean, with the, I, I don't know. I'm going to keep it. We're fixed for everything. can play everything in our deck now, except the Archangel. It didn't look like his threats were, like, you know, very dangerous. This card's good. Yeah, I mean, keeping six lands is probably stupid, but whatever. I'll live with it. I mean, there's 17 creatures in this deck, so I have a more than 50% chance of drawing a creature off the top.
of 15. So he's at Geist Snatch Mana, which is a little bit of a concern, but we'll see if he's got it. And he played it this time. This card's not very good. I mean, if he did an Archangel there, I still would have said this isn't a good card. Alright, so we play Mr. Restoration Angel. Too bad it's not exile target non-angel creature you own. Then I'd be able to get that wandering wolf back. That'd have been sweet. Um, do I want to let him draw now off the apprentice? Nah, not really. Let's just kill this guy. Pathbreaker Worm. Good timing. Alright. Soul Bond it up. So the attacks, potential tricks are joint assault, I guess, but I think I'd still trade a Pathbreaker Worm for a Wandering Wolf plus, I mean it'd be a two for one, and I would still have a better board presence, so I think that'd be fine. Ah yes, Mr. Geist Trappers. Um, I'm still attacking with Pathbreaker Worm. And the cool thing is, if he blocks the Restoration Angel, I'll get the Righteous Blow. So, I'll still be able to kill this guy. Yeah, that was a good draw. Cares a lot about that uh, Restoration Angel, I guess. So, we'll do Guys Trappers first. And do that, yep. And then we'll Righteous Blow the Guys Trappers. So, make sure that we kill him. Take six, we'll play our Nettle Swine. Soul Bond. And we have our sheltering word up, so. Looks pretty good. Look like we're in good shape to win this. Especially if he tries to do some sort of fancy, I don't know, bounce spell or something into the void. Or at least save the Pathbreaker Worm and play the gain some life. That guy's not that great. He's alright. But not 
not during this kind of board state. It's not so good. All right, so we'll get him for 10. I think he might not know about that. I don't know what he's doing. Does he not know if he sacks the apprentice it's not going to save the trample damage? Could have joint assault, but I'd still kill all of his guys. And then he still wouldn't have had to have blocked with the apprentice. just save him from getting a card here. But, no, that's fine. I don't care. Alright. So he's still taking four trample. He's still taking eight. Alright. Gate guard. the turn. So he needs a couple creatures at least here to bring that back. Alright, so yeah, I'm pretty sure this guy was pretty new to this format, so um, this there were some pretty weak cards in this deck. Like, the Escort, you really shouldn't be playing that. Stolen Goods, it's more... I don't really like this card. I don't think people should be playing it. Um, Fleeting Distraction is actually fine. And, uh, I mean, I, I've played this before. It's fine. And Apprentice is fine. Geist Trapper is fine. Drake's fine. I guess he had some decent cards in his deck. He... I, I, I don't know if he's like... He, I'm just pretty sure he's new to this format, because last... Last game he played the Stolen Goods and he didn't even play the guy's Trappers that he would have stolen, so I don't know what was going on there. I think he just, uh, you know, kind of knew because he didn't even know about the, uh, I don't know, the trample damage that would happen with the Apprentice, and there were just little things, I guess, that sort of were indicators of that, but anyway, uh, we'll go to round two.